Push the button, Frank. Well, damn it! <laughs> I tried to press the button earlier and you weren't ready. Ugh. That, there's all this button pressing that needs to occur, and we need to be in sync as we do it. Either push the button or... D look, I'm not even trying to hear that right now. Because you don't even know what the cap snaffler was, and if you can't snaffle a cap, I'm not confident in your ability to conduct yourself in a manner consistent with this show. You can't just segue into the joke like that. It would have been funny if we started like that, but you didn't start. we started with buttons. Buttons were the order of the hour. Not the cap snapper, whatever that may be. <laughs> well, now we're snaffling the cap off this weird Ohio side. Yeah, here we are in Ohio. <laughs> Summers? <laughs> Earthbound. Yes. Oh, we're so we're up. in... We're in Eagle Land. Well, we're, we're in Summers, which is in Eagle Land. Which is on the Earth, which is in the universe. Which is in Ohio. Which is under my thumbnail. Uh, ew. No! No! One thing that sucks about so, having the full party is that we are a huge target. It is now completely impossible to get away from enemies. Oh, dude, does, can they actually hit your, uh, uh, followers? Yeah. Hit like your train? This insane entourage. taxi just ran into Rufio. Uh, so, I remember last episode we got Rufio. Did you ever play that game Crazy Taxi? Yes. I never played it, but, uh, around, oh, let's say 2001, I bought the PlayStation 2 version for one of my friends, and he told me it was shit, so I never, we never bothered to play it. It's a damn shame. Best twenty dollars I've ever spent. That's that is itself a damn shame. Resocia Richmond. Uh, Crazy Taxi was like a GameCube game, wasn't it? I have no idea. I bought the PS2 version for for him because that's what he had. So he also had an Xbox and a GameCube uh, and a Dreamcast. Well, and I'm sure a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. You know, it, 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 I never even realized... Like, by the time I even knew what a Dreamcast was, it was already... Uh, Too late. Uh, had already obsolesced. You know? That thing came out in, like, 1999. Yeah. That's a freaking re- that, that's pretty recent in terms of- when did the PS2 come out? Couldn't have been much later than o, o, 2000 or 01, right? I can't remember. I feel like the PS2 had a really long run, though. Well, it was also sort of like when we were- that was our- our gaming- golden age, you know? It's when we had enough money to actually buy our own games, and that sort of thing. You're viewing I mean, all I this through Halcyon glasses. I never had enough money to buy games at all. Well, you, was... but you also had a brother, and yeah. your brother had money to buy games. That's true. And he had you friends had when PS2. he could trade. I uh, remember you having a PS2. That was, like, later, though. I got, I got my PS2 during, like, college. Oh, damn. Yeah. Really? No. PS3 was already out by the time... Well... I got a PS2 in... I want to say... 04. Because huh. I got it... It was when the, um... The PS2 Lite came out that I finally got one. And I remember, uh... Getting the PS2 Lite like three or four days before it was actually supposed to come out because the Target uh, I bought it at just didn't realize and they put it on the shelf too early. I love that. Not that I really cared because you know whatever, but I w I I just went there to get like you know I think I need a PS2 to play this 
PS2 dancing game. Dance Revolution... thing. Oh, God. Fuzzy Pickles! But I said- I said it, you can just leave! F f fuzzy Pickles! Fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy, fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles. If you go into your bathroom at night and you say Fuzzy Pickles three times, a man in a top hat comes out of the bathroom no, vent. Shut, sh shut up! Fuzzy Pickles! <laughs> what? Ugh. Fuzzy Pickles! Mm. Mm. Fuzzy Pickles. Yeah! That's where I am! Fuzzy Pickles! Fuzzy Pickles! Wait, Andrew, are you courageous? Mmm. I... I'm curious. I'd say I'm... I'm intrepid, I'd say. I'm not courageous. Is all the courage that's required so much as to get on a boat? Yes. But to get on a boat and then sails in into a sea infested with other shittier boats. I think our- I think we got the best boat here. Yeah, ours has a flag. And some kind of curly cue on the bow. I like this music. Me too. Let's just it's enjoy good it. good sailing music. Oh my god, do you have control? No. Oh. That- Those islands are either super tiny, or the boat is huge, and the trees are huge. <laughs> Ah! Wait! Hold up! <laughs> I left my hat back at the... <laughs> back on the... pier. I need to stop the boat. <sighs> A sailor who gets seasick? Now that's just crazy. Ah, I said we should go back and visit our mom. Oh, and suddenly Anchor's away. Isn't Anchor's away what you say when you're parking the boat? No, I think you say Anchor's away when you're pulling up Anchor. Because, like, when you're singing, Anchor's away, my boys, you're saying, like, pull up the anchors, let's get underway. Oh, I thought it was like, Anchors oh god! Away, like... What the hell is that? Now call our other sea monster. <laughs> Tessie! Where the fuck was you at, girl? Whoa. That doesn't look too bad. I'm not... Looks kind of... kind of goofy, kind of friendly. What is it called? The Kraken. The Kraken. The Kraken. I am the sea. I'm gonna freeze him up. Do you fear death? Do you fear that dark abyss? Oh Jesus, I fear 125 damage in one shot. Eh. I've got damage. You need some damage, I need some damage. How much money do you have? Uh, let's, let's go with like 60 bucks. How much damage will that get me? <laughs> I'm I'm quite sure you have like 60,000 bucks. Oh, you meant here. Yes. I, I don't really know what I mean anymore. <laughs> the game and real life just sort of blend together into one, uh, you know, organic whole. Agreed. I uh... live Earthbound. I am the Earthbound, and it is me. Yeah! Damn right he solidified. Blat! Fire all the rays! The uh, Manta rays. I'm gonna burn him. I'm gonna burn him good. Raise that monster with rays. No. Oh, he's, he's not susceptible to fire. Oh, and he's damn a it. water type. 
Water types are stronger than fire types. Yep. What version of Pokemon did you have? Uh, I never played any of them, actually. Oh! Oh, hey! Really? While Not I was even blowing on, my nose. Oh? Uh, uh, we defeated that dude. That's pretty awesome. You got healing gamma. Sweet. Uh, but no, I, I never had any version of Pokemon for any of my Game Boys. I played, I briefly played, I think, um, Red and Blue on a Game Boy emulator in the day, but oh. I never, I never really cared about it enough to. It's kind of shitty, kind of a shitty RPG. Yeah. It's cool, I mean, the, the hook was what was cool, and that, you know, there was like 150 of them, and you get them. The game was about getting them all. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a decent game. It's just, it just didn't, didn't blow my dress up. That boat just, oh, I thought the camera. Oh. Like if there were more to it other than, I like if, if collecting 150 were in a more interesting context, it would have been, it would have been really neat. Yeah. Because that that idea is is pretty neat. Like, I can see myself doing that. I like collecting, by the way. You don't really have any collections, do you? Uh... I guess you not. You collect pins, I guess. Yeah, but not like... Not in any sort of organized fashion yet. It's the hospital. You don't need to heal? Uh... Whoa. Scarabba. Let's see what this dude got to say. Yo, what's up? Oh, well. Thanks, L -l lady? Huh, oh! Oh my. Do you know, do you know any Arabic? What does that say? What is it writing on the buildings? <laughs> all up and down the sides. <laughs> I know a lady who's a Muslim, but that's it. Uh, so this guy had a key to the dungeon man, and now he doesn't anymore. What are these black things on the ground? Oh, God. It reeks of pokey. <laughs> Rotten... Ass. What? What do you imagine? Oh man! What do you suppose Pokey's character to be? I imagine him being like the fat kid in any number of movies. You know? You know the kid. Yeah, but not like not like about. a lovable fat kid like Chunk from the Goonies. I like like Cartman, where he's just like a scumbag. Yeah. Oh, uh. I, I'm, uh, going off to, uh, Chicago at the end of the month. Oh, word? Um, yeah, just thought I'd take a little, make a pilgrimage up there, see the, uh, uh, uh Art Institute and the Museum of Industry and all that stuff I've never seen before, but, and, uh, I got tickets to see the Book of Mormon. Badass. While I'm, while I'm there. That's you know cool. the Book of Mormon, right? Yeah, it's a it's a play by um the uh, Matt Stone and Trey, Trey Parker. Stone and Matt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's yeah, I, I have Matt. <laughs> so there's four names here. As long as you get all four of them, just in some order, it's cool. Somehow I feel like that's something they'd be into. Yeah. I just put four names in the hat and drew them and went with that. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's very presumptuous of me. I don't know those guys at all. What their opinions are. Or how they feel about anything. I know they're pretty good at making a cartoon show. Yeah. Which I have seen maybe... Maybe ten episodes of. We require maybe, additional secret herbs. Maybe twenty. Maybe twenty South Park episodes. Were you ever into South Park? Yeah, I was, I was deep into it when it first came on TV. Like, uh... I was in, like, fourth grade when South Park happened, so it was all very... 
You know, it's like it's like yeah. when you've discovered the curse word, you're like, oh my god. I can say this well, when no when my mom's not around and nothing bad happens. But you, you discover curse words quite late. What? Fourth grade? You didn't know about curse words before fourth grade? I was aware of them, but I like it's they didn't become a thing for me, you know. Uh, they became a thing for me when I was in the second grade. I remember when, when I was in the second grade, I uh, uh, got uh, a little too um, vehement about it. Yeah. And uh, we were playing soccer in you know behind the school during like recess or something. Yeah. And I like shouted "fuck" at the top of my lungs, and I had to go see the principal. Huh. I've heard to say anyway, six, a snake sack? What's I going on in South this Park. game? You hate South Park? I hated it at that time. I thought it was it was the worst, you know? I thought it was really crass and really... I, 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 was, I never liked fart jokes. I never liked any of that, you know? And I still don't like those early episodes. Everybody in this town talks way too much. I don't want to. It's kind of like that in the Middle East, you know. <laughs> they don't have much to do but talk. So talk and occasionally explode. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live in a like pre-literary society where uh, there was no writing? I mean, talking must have been an art form. Yeah. I imagine back before writing was around, everybody was really eloquent all the time. People, like, spoke in hexameter and stuff, just out of habit. Oh, God. We just went through this. I know. Fuzzy pickles! <laughs> I better get an awesome sword out of it if I find every single place this moron will fall out of the sky and yell at me. Are you finding them? I or... Don't... Does it just happen at, uh, just certain other things trigger it? I don't even know. I've seen no rhyme or reason in any of the th events that are happening on this screen. No, none of it makes a lick of sense. There's just a chair in the middle of the desert next to this building. Why? It's an ancient artifact. It's belongs in a museum. It's an Eames chair. That's the secret. Oh. I'm gonna call my mom. How does that make you feel? You can do whatever you want. I'm ready to play some more Earthbound. Okay. Well, hooray! What, no, what did no. she, I didn't. I didn't read. What did she say about ironing? She said to get back to her ironing. Oh. She is. She is a mom's mom. Your mother. Your mother. Uh, crap! I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, oh, we were talking about um, eloquence. Like, uh, they talk about like a lot about like um, a lot about. No. What? Shoot. What? <laughs> say it. Words are hard for me. Shut up. D deliver your point. See, In speaking Greece. of eloquence. <laughs> <laughs> I I type everything. I can't be bothered to speak properly. See, that's just what I'm saying, though. Is that back when before uh, society had had literature, had writing, that that never would have been an issue. Everybody was very good at speaking. Yeah, because you had to be. I that bet, was it. I bet you know every little thing was like delivering a an oration. I bet people just stood up and talked for hours. That's like, probably... Entire wars were probably prosecuted with just words. The, um... When Abraham Lincoln was running for president, he had a he had a debate with... Who was the guy he was running against? Some, somebody... Du Frederick du Douglass? Yeah, Fred... No. no it wasn't Frederick Douglass. It was... I don't think... Was that his opponent? I don't think his... I don't think Douglas was his opponent. 
I think that those, those, like you hear about the Lincoln-Douglas debates, but I, I don't think they were presidential debates, were they? I think, I think they are. I think the Lincoln-Douglas debates were the, well, like... I don't know what Wikipedia knows. Uh, at any rate, like, the debates went on for, like, hours and hours, and each man would talk for, like, an hour and a half before moving on. Holy shit. Oh my god. That thing just... Oh. It was, to yeah. to one-shot Naomi. They were, uh, presidential debates, but his name was Stephen Douglas. Oh, that's it. Fre Frederick Douglas was, uh, another guy at that time who wrote a book. Was this book about something about slaves? Slaverysbad.com Is he the oh. one who wrote un Uncle Tom's Cabin? No, that was a lady. That... Oh. I think. I have to look up Frederick Man. Douglass too, because otherwise We're we are... <laughs> well, we're just showing our in ignorance of American history. Yeah, I, I feel shamed. What? Yeah, he wrote a bunch of auto autobiographies, apparently. I see. About being a slave. No, stop it. Uh, he wrote My Bondage and My Freedom. Alright, the door of the pyramid is firmly sealed. If we came here just to leave again, I'm gonna be pissed. It's a beautiful UFO, apparently. Aww. Isn't that special? It still makes that hideous sound, though. I wonder what the waveform of that sound looks like. Like a knife stabbing me repeatedly in the ear? That would be a pretty interesting waveform. Yeah. Especially con considering that it would have, uh, like, like overhang. What would be the, you know, how it would sort of curve around and back and... Yeah. I don't it, even know how you would manage that. It would not be a proper function, because it would not be one-to-one. -one. Mono e mono. Yes. So the hitman said something about Mr. Spoons having a big mustache in Foreside. But I don't know what that means. It's a great crest. It means go. It means go back to four side. Okay. Maybe we need to get some like dinosaur stuff from here and take it back to four side. Was that where the dinosaur museum was? Yeah. In four side. Yeah. Hooray! Side. Life up to review. Alright. Just for your reference, we are now 30 minutes into this. Okay. Special services for you. Did you go to the second floor of the Scaraba Cultural Museum in Summers? The Hieroglyph. Great. Now we have to go back to Summers. So, so I propose that we get back to Summers. Spend a little time trying to find this hieroglyph, then we'll call it a, a show. Sounds good. Uh, now, where is the museum? To the east. The Musée yes. de Summers. Oh, jeez. You need water. Yeah, we both need, uh... Wet towel. Yeah. 
to get toweled up. When I when I saw that jar of deli sauce, I thought that word was in French. I thought it was like jar de la sauce or something. <laughs> jar de la soul. A jar nobody wants to open. Usually they give you a little bit more warning than that. That sign just tripped have these, out. Have these all had the same number on them? Yeah. It'd be really cool if they did, you know. I mean, if you, like, went to different areas of the town and the speed limit was different. <laughs> this town only has one road, but it has a hundred different names. Oh, God. I hate that. That is the worst. I know. When a street has two names. Why would you ever do that? Just changes like halfway along for no reason. What? Yeah, fine, lady. So we gotta go to the second floor and see the hieroglyph. Uh. Ram Raisin. Toten Carmen. What? Wait, what was the second one? His pencil what? His pencil box. <laughs> this dude is... Oh! That guy's a creeper. That was Toten Carmen's lunchbox. Ew. Man, he must have been a fat dude. <laughs> Lunchbox is huge. Also, a cannibal. What? <laughs> that guy didn't just step out of the way. He just stepped out of existence. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you gave me that jet. Oh. 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 Go around the. Uh Oh, there's no, there's no mummy in there, don't worry about it. A rich kid took a picture of the hieroglyphs. Yeah, guys, that's all great. Maybe you help me fight these animate coffins that are, <laughs> you know... That... What? What? Why do their doors keep opening? Are they making a little click sound when they do open? Whoa. Oh god, now, why is... I was quite sure that coffin was empty. Dude, dude was busting out. I bet, uh, I bet the thing is, is vulnerable to fire, because he's a million years old. And therefore... Whoa, what? Oh, if he were a million years old, he would be fossilized, and therefore... immune to fire. Yeah, that's probably true. Now, if he were more like... 6,000 years old. Hmm. He might be onto something. He is vulnerable to paralysis. And he is not vulnerable to being punched in the face. I have just discovered. Uh, I'm gonna paralyze that ass. And then I'm gonna freeze him. Have we had an on air discussion about whether mummies are zombies? I know we've discussed it before. I don't know if we've discussed it on the show. But I don't think well, they so, are. So, I think mummies are a different thing. Well, mu mum I think we decided that it was the mode of reanimation that yeah. determines whether you are a mummy or a zombie. Now, mummies are, are pretty much universally uh, reanimated by a curse. Yeah. Or by some kind and of magic. Zombies can be reanimated by a powder, a, uh, a, some form of magic, or a virus. Yeah, it's either like, if you're a zombie, you're either made a zombie by science fiction or by voodoo. It's basically what you get. But sometimes I, by I'm, magic. But, I mean, what's the difference between that magic and mummy magic? I mean, mummies seem like a sub subclass of zombies. 
I think it's like the requirement for magic. It's a mummy is always like a, some kind of crazy animate spirit of an ancient king or something. Does it have to be a king? That's to be somebody mean, who would have been mummified. So it's it's always like somebody who would have been important. No, you know? everybody in ancient Egypt was mummified. Even peasants were mummified. They were just mummified poorly, and their remains didn't survive. Huh. Fascinating. In fact, uh, I'm thinking there were like four different levels of mummification that you can that you can do, and uh, at the, the lowest level, they basically like put your body in a big pile of salt for a while, and then just buried you like that. Huh. I never knew that. I... I guess what I'm saying, like, talking about mummific... What is mummification? Like, what... This is what does that mean? A way of method of embalming... Just anything to body. prevent... Um... De decomposition, I guess? Well, mummification, I think, implies wrapping you in a shroud of some kind. Hmm. Like, I, I don't think there are any mummies out there who uh, who don't have the uh, the uh, bandages. Well, now I don't know because uh, you know they found mummies in like Peru as well. Yeah. The ancient Peruvians mummified their, uh, uh, using, like, like, a, a peat or something as a preservative. I don't know. Oh! Maybe we need, uh, Wait, do you see this? Are you seeing this? Large dot, small dot, four, three, two, five. I think this is the order we have to touch all those little, those little buttons beneath the sphinx. Oh wait, so the the first the large dot is just the uh the bullet that comes before everything that is said. What is yeah. the small dot? I think that's just the first one, because that's the that's the only one that that does anything when you step on it at first. So I think four, three, two, five, I can remember that. Just write it down. It's written. I don't believe you. I'm writing it down myself. It, I, we're never going to get through this game if we can't establish a base level of trust. <laughs> what if this were the Starship Enterprise and we were on this crazy adventure? What if you can be Captain Kirk and I'll be Uhura? I'm not going to have so, sex with you, Andrew. So I'm going to sit here at this comm system... And expect you to do all the work. Put this metal thing in your ear. Yeah. I've got this microphone. I'm set. You're not doing your job. Well, the dude just gave us a picture of the hieroglyphs. Use it in your human. So you wrote all that down for nothing. Did you write it down? No! Yes! I have it right here. Four, three, two, five. Okay. All right, let's bounce. Fine. Go, go. Type that in, and that's what we're. And if we find a boss right after oh. that, then answer the phone. Yeah, I, I, I'm seeing significantly less phone answering than I would like. <laughs> I've come to expect a certain number of phones to be answered. <laughs> You're falling short of the quota. Oh. Yes, I'm Mr. Fork. He's, oh, good. Look, man, let me tell you all about how my mummy got flipped, turned upside down. <laughs> I can flip these mummies. Give me a week. <laughs> I just need a chain hoist. That's all I've ever needed. It's fantastic. It's outrageous. Well. You know what I was like uh, at the end of Hardcore History? 
that little, like, sound that I'll... <laughs> yeah. Like, it's how he punctuates his entire, uh, it's, it's... uh, show. Yeah, that little, like... It's hard to explain. It's, it's like an explosion from a great distance. It, it, that's exactly what I would have said. So, awesome. pretty lucid, I think. Are those stairs going the wrong way? Yeah, probably. A exit out of this menu right quick. Oh no, never mind, they're going... I thought they were upside down for a second, but uh... It was a trick of the eye. Some MC Escher going on over here. Some of that. Just, just go. I think MC Escher and MC Hammer were roommates in MC College. <laughs> I got my PhD in ceremonial mastery. That was terrible, and now I'm sad. You're MCD. <laughs> You're a doctor of master of. <laughs> <laughs> You're a doctor of masters. <laughs> um, he's Doctor Hammer. That's all of it, you know. Professor Jiggy Jams. <laughs> he's so OG. His mixtape comes with every copy of the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> a joke cannot get more inside than that. Yeah, no, no one's coming. No one. No one is even capable of getting that. That's a joke we had privately in high school. You you don't know one of the, like, 20 people who graduated with us isn't watching this show right now. Well, you That's... know they're not watching it right now because we're recording it right now. But at the time, whoever watches this... Fuck. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna lay this down on you. At the time... Anyone besides us is watching this. There is no reason to suppose that person is not identical to at least one of the 20 or so people that graduated high school with us. Is that all the people that were in our graduating class? It was about 20, wasn't it? Oh my god. I have a high school yearbook. I could read off the names of every single one of them. <laughs> there was... there was Paul, and there was... Who the hell is Paul? Ba Baxter. That's me. And there was Andy. That's you. There was, em there was Emily. Yeah. And there was... I think we had more uh, than one of those. There was Emily and Emily. Okay. I, I only knew one of them. We had two Kaylas, <laughs> at, at the very least. A minimum There's of two Leisha. Kaylas. Yep. Remember, uh... There was a dude called Walter. No, that There's was his Walter. name. You have, to, you have to say the whole thing. It's He's he's not Walter, he's a dude called Walter. <laughs> it's like a tribe called Quest, you say the whole thing. Walter Cronkite. That's the whole was. Out. Class of 1930, or whatever. <laughs> whatever, well, Cronkite. He, he was, he was in the journalism business in, like, the 60s, right? Yeah. But he was an old man by then. I think he was in his middle, like, middle age when he was covering... Oh, Jesus. Uh... Je Jesus hadn't... Th this is a dinosaur, man. Jesus... It's not not even part of this. No. Uh, Walter Cronkite was in his like his middle years when he was covering the Vietnam War, which started in in what like sixty one. That sounds about right. Well, it started back in the fifties, the uh, uh, French Indochina War, or whatever it was called. Three. Four, three, two, five. Four is on the left, and three is to the right of- Oh, you got it. Warriors, until now! We have to search for Baxter. the Hawkeye. What? Baxter, I have, I have something I have to tell you. 
I uh, never actually wrote that down. I just, just hate you so much. Remember when I said that we were like a team on the Starship Enterprise? You are. Well, thanks, fucking Klingon sympathizer. I I was more like one of the dudes on the away team, and I was telling you things that you needed to hear, but I was really doing my own thing. God damn it, Inzy Ricky. I was breaking the Prime Directive in order to... It was for our own good. I, I just don't care to talk to you anymore. I've had it. I've had That's it with convenient your because I feel like we need to end this episode before we get too deep into this pyramid. I said before we get too deep... Every second you're moving forward, you're doing the opposite of the thing I want you to do. That mummy Don't is tripping. Don't fight that mummy. The, the, Dude, I, do not fight that mummy. I, I really want to fight no, that mummy. I, I swear, if you fight that mummy, I'm I'm taking this car, and I'm driving straight home. Stop the boat. I have to fight a mummy. <laughs> With... I'm warning you, mister. Uh, ah. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, wait, oh. Take one more step. Oh, oh. I, not, I'm not going to be happy. I am Get going... in the car. <laughs> Get in the car. I'm fighting that mummy. Oh, you've done it now. <laughs> wait till your mummy hears about this. <laughs> You didn't, think I, you didn't think I'd go deep like that, but I did. Rufio, you suck and I hate you. Great. Alright, Rufio, drop a train on! Good, that is closely approximates a train. Oh, you, well, you got lucky that that mummy was so easy to fight. Now, I want you to march straight back in the other direction. But... Out of I, the pyramid. I don't... Uh, you don't understand. I understand that it's a school night, and you have homework to do. I already did my homework at school. What... Do you think I'm a millionaire? You think what? Oh, this that. family? That, yeah, that higher up is tripping out. Hey, what's up? It's walking oh. like an Egyptian. <laughs> Whoa! That's actually kind of a cool picture. Uh. <laughs> no comment. Nah. Uh. I'm, it's some kind of cool picture. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna keep punching it. What do you think he's doing with that staff? Nothing anymore. He dead. Fat lot of good that staff did him. Don't fight that coffin. Oh! Ta-da! Don't fight the thing <laughs> in the coffin. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an ex- you know, If you saw someone jump back from a basket and shriek, Ta-da! You wouldn't expect there would be a poisonous snake inside it. What? That seems like a- That sounds like a magic trick I can get into. Oh, did you collect the viper? Yep. Maybe it's a dodge viper. <laughs> oh. Oh, sick. You can just automatically poison the enemy with it. That's pretty dope. I'm just gonna put this snake in my pocket. I already got a snake in my pocket. It's just for you. Is that a snake in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? It's it's an asp. I've been bitten. Call this... Oh. 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 I'm calling it. Let's stop here. I'm concerned about that snake McGliff. Oh! 
I didn't think it would explode off of the wall like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, you, you stopped it there pretty poorly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wrote that shit down pretty poorly, my friend. I'm not, I'm not really confident in your stopping it there abilities. I call some like I see them, and I'm blind. <laughs> oh. You're gonna have to fight that other thing, too. Yeah. Whatever, this guy's gonna chump change. See, this dungeon, we're, we're not having any trouble. It seems like every other dungeon we're underleveled for. That son of a bitching thing gave Lars a cold. Great. Oh, this little baby Lars want a blanket. You want a, a chicken soup? Y yes. Do you have one? Do you have a chicken soup, sir? I have many. Okay, let me pull out my. Pull out my let me. Get rid of all these vipers. I know I've got some in here somewhere. <laughs> okay, don't fight that one and call okay. it. Oh! Uh, I. Fuck it. You, you have to the count of three to not attack that snake. Don't you Wait, touch that no, snake. No, I mean, you have, you have to the count of one, and I'm gonna start at three. What? Oh, r really, you have till zero, but I'm not gonna say zero. I'm gonna stop at one and then act when it, I would have said zero. So, to, what? So really, you have the time between when I say three and two, uh, two and one, and one and me acting to complete my uh, order. So do I have until then to attack the snake, or until then to not? The not you have you have until then to not attack the snake. <laughs> what, if, what if I don't not attack the snake before then, but do not attack the snake after that? Is that would I be in compliance? Three, two, one.